2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Buenos dias and welcome. 2K Sports presents Cinco de Mayo NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. It's the Miami Heat taking on the Boston Celtics. It'll be the Heat off the tip. So here's Miami's starting group. They've got Dwayne Wade. Shane Battier is out there with Chris Bosh. And it's LeBron James. And it's Livingston in at the point guard position. I'll tell you, the defense cannot afford to be too physical with Dwayne Wade. He attracts so much attention and understands how to draw contact. Miami shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. First one falls. Well, even though he's in the final stages of his career, you know Dwayne Wade is still very competitive. This guy is a short fire Hall of Famer who understands how to win, guys. Good on both. Here's Johnson. Up top, Bird. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to Ainge. Shot clock at six. Celtics passing it around. And here's Bird from the arc. Kept alive by Boston. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Celtics shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And that one falls for McHale. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And here is James. Inside, Bosch. That one, no good. Excellent D there from Parrish. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. I spoke with the Celtics head coach a little bit ago. I asked him how they're going to respond after giving away home court advantage in game one. The coach said, hey, that was the last game. That's in the past. We're focused on the present and simply executing to the best of our abilities tonight. But he did admit, Kevin, that another loss here would paint a very grim picture going forward. Back to you. All right, David, thanks. Here's Ainge. And too long on the shot. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Shot up two there. This guy's an absolute beast. You see the power and the soft touch that LeBron James combines in his game. Wow. Now here's Johnson. Poked away. Bird kicks to Johnson. Parrish up top, beyond the clock. From deep three-point range, and they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation.
Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. The pass to Livingston. Passes it to Batty. The Heat with a fresh 14. Bosch, that's good. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. Now, Greg, you have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. He gets it in there. They needed that. Just one for five to start this ball game. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Four-point game. Passed away. Takes the 13-footer. The shot, no good. And it's Boston the other way. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Now here's Wade. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, Kev, that's the upper body strength that Dwayne Wade possesses. He is a pro at muscling through contact. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Wade, no good on that one. Celtics trail by four. Here's Ainge. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Ainge, just one of those guys that likes to annoy an, an energetic scorer who can shoot a high percentage from the field. For Boston, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. That free throw good for Ainge. Both free throws good for Ainge. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. The Heat with the lead. James looking around. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Bird. First quarter of action. Just under three and a half minutes played. Johnson gets the bucket. And that makes it a tie ball game. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And you know this, Greg. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now here's Johnson. He kicks to Bird. Just five on the clock. From deep. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Good D by LeBron. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Celtics trail by four. Johnson outside. Pass to Mikhail. Rebound by the Heat. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Livingston passes to LeBron. To the inside, Bosch. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. James dishes to Livingston. 
Back to James. Rolls up on the elbow. And that one is off. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here's Bird. It's good. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Wade. Eight points for him. Down low. There's a timing and a rhythm to how Parrish plays. Really an underrated defender who routinely frustrates shooters. Here's Johnson. And it's all evened up. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Livingston passes to Wade. Shoots over Ainge. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Johnson outside. Passes it to McHale. Five on the clock. And shot on the way. Here's Parrish. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Wade gets the bucket. Wade's got 10 points. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Johnson outside. On the pass to McHale. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. It's good. Now Livingston. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Walton's checked in for Paris. Redman comes in for Larry Bird. Marjan Brooks is checked in for Danny Ainge. And Vincent subbed in for Johnson. And a new group in for the Heat. Measury, he's checked in for Bosch. Haslam comes in for Shane Batty. Lewis checked in for LeBron. And Allen subbed in for Dwayne Wade. The Celtics on offense. Pass to Brooks. Inside, McHale. And he uses the glass on the layup. McHale's got eight. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Livingston looking for the opening. Lewis on the way. To the inside. Measury kicks to Livingston. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by the Celtics. McHale's got seven rebounds in the game. Redmond the pass to Vincent. That one drops for him. And now a four-point Celtic lead. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Knocks it loose. Brooks against Allen. Now, here's Livingston. Defense right on him. 
Brooks, left side. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Raheed shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. That free throw good from Allen. Austin leading by three. To the middle, here's Wedman. Lee Paz was put in just the right spot. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now here's Livingston, T right on him. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's gonna go on Bill Walton. What's extraordinary to me is Sean Livingston nearly didn't have an NBA career because of that horrific injury. But how about the ability to overcome that and be a key part of a team? Truly extraordinary. First one falls for him. And he can't hit the second. Celtics leading by four. Brooks the pass to Vincent. Over Allen. That one off the back iron and out. Now here's Livingston. Mesri controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Here's Vincent. Pass to Wedman. A fader. Bucket is good. Listen, he hits that shot on a regular basis. Give credit to the offense for getting him a clean look. Livingston with it. Passes to Mesri. One forty-nine left in the first quarter. Allen against Brooks. Shot from the wing. Rebounded by the Celtics. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Here's Vincent. Got a piece of it. 124 left to play in the first quarter. Livingston up top. Feeds to Aslam. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. Well, it's the size that Livingston presents at the point guard spot that's so unique. This guy is terrific, finding the open man. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Austin making a switch here. Seasing's checked in. Here is Seasting. 
We've got 108 left in the first. The pass to Wedman. Rebound by the Heat. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Brooks against Allen. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first quarter. The Heat need to get a shot off. That gives them the lead. And the Heat lead by one. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Mejri with the rebound. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Allen outside. And here's Livingston. Takes the three. Wayne Wade, he's been the guy making things happen for Miami. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. And what stands out to you guys from the Heat in this one? I love their effort. Contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. Boston Trail. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the floor for Boston. Walton is out there with McHale. Then it's Brooks. Then there's Seasting. And it's Wedman in its small forward. Six to shoot. Here's McHale, the 15-footer. Good. McHale's got 10 points in the game. And fantastic length. The touch on the jump shot. Almost impossible to stop McHale from mid-range. Livingston passes to Allen. Who is outside? Pass to Haslam. To the paint. Here's Livingston. Rebounded by the Celtics. McHale's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now, here's Walton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. McHale inside. He's guarded by Haslam. McHale misses. Here's Livingston. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Well, he might be a point guard, but don't sleep on the vertical of Mr. Sean Livingston. You're talking about a big-time athlete. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Pass to McHale. And McHale gets double-teamed to the wing on the left. Here's Seasting. Mejri with the rebound. Mejri's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Allen dishes to Lewis. Pass to Livingston. With the floater, and it's sent back by McCabe. Here's Wedman. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. All oh, the officials are all over that one. The Celtics have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And he knocks down the first one. Austin making some changes. Parrish is checked in for Walton. Bird comes in for McHale. And Dennis Johnson's subbed in for Marshawn Brooks. And a new group getting ready for Miami. Chris Bosch is checked in for Measury. Mattier comes in for Udonis Hassan. LeBron's checked in for Rashard Lewis. And Dwayne Wade is subbed in for Sean Livingston. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 
Here's Allen. Wade outside. The baseline J. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. Parrish has got six rebounds in the game. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. They get it back. Bosch will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Allen kicks to LeBron. Wade, right side. Count it. Wade's got 12 points in the game. Well, just continues to make his living from right there. Dwayne Wade feels so comfortable in the mid-range. Johnson, the pass to Wedman. Dennis Johnson on the wing. Wade is covering. Johnson with the bounce pass. Rocket six. Here's Parrish. And no good that time. Nice D from Bosch. The Heat with the lead. Allen right side. Ball's knocked loose. Parrish with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. Johnson outside. No one near him. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Now, here's Wade. 12 points for him. Just five to shoot. And it's LeBron missing. James is gone. One of three shooting so far. Bird dishes to Johnson. The pass to Wedman. Back to Johnson. Pass to Parrish. Over Battier. A shot's good from Parrish. Parrish has got his first basket of the night. In the ultimate combo guard, Johnson can pass with the league's best playmaker. Pass to Wade. He feeds it to LeBron. The turnaround. Here's Wade. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. See, these difficult finishes take incredible concentration, and Dwayne Wade is accustomed to taking those hits. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Heat now. Kept alive, Parrish. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Parrish has got his second bucket of the night. And the Chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard. Doesn't look like he's outworking you until you see the ball drop through the net. Wade outside. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. Well, Dwayne Wade simply dominating on offense, and he's making it look easy, guys. Here is Zesting. Here is Parrish. He doesn't hit that one. Nice D from Bosch. And it's the Heat with the ball. The drive by James. Count that bucket. The strength of LeBron is something that is never going to go away. And it will always allow him to finish plays like that. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Austin making some changes. Ainge is checked in for Seaston. And Vincent subbed in for Johnson. Free throw, no good for LeBron. 
It just seems like LeBron James doesn't age. Still so dominant in the second half of his career. This guy is incredible in virtually every statistical category. Here's Vincent. Six on the shot clock. Kicks to Bird. Launches it. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Now here's LeBron. This is the box. Ripped away. Here's Vincent. Great D that time from LeBron. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. With the teardrop. Mattier, the pass to Bosch. Parrish grabs the ball. Parrish has got 11 rebounds in the game. Bird against Wade. Parrish dishes to Bird. And another shot. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by two. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. And again, it's the Heat missing. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Here's Wedman, covered by LeBron, passes it to Bird. Over Battier. It's hauled in by the Heat. LeBron James on the way, and they cash in right away with the quick shot. LeBron's got the game tied up here for the Heat. Here's Vincent. There's the pass to Wedman. And there's the feed to Parrish. Over Bosch. A shot's good from Parrish. Parrish has got eight here in the quarter. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Here's James. Knocked loose. Bird with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. Bird against Allen. Back to Bird. Pass to Parrish. Here's Wade. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Here's Vincent. Pass to Ainge. Parrish with it. Six to shoot. And it's sent back by Bosch. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Walton's checked in for the Celtics. Richard Lewis. He's checked in for Miami. Livingston comes in for Ray Allen. Now Livingston. Five points in the game. That's tipped. Passes it to Wade. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Up top, Bird. James covering. And it's the Heat on the break. Yes, that goes in. 20 points for Dwayne Wade. I'll tell you, Kev, isn't this what we've come to expect from Dwayne Wade? The active hands, the quick thinking. What a great defender. Here's Walton. Arms length from the hoop. He knocks it down. Walton's got his first points in this one. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for Miami. Wade, double team. Lewis, left side. And there's Dwayne Wade on the assist by Lewis. That's now 22 points for Dwayne Wade. Boston Trail. There's 126 left to play here in the second quarter. Out to Bird. A 
Now the pass to Vincent. Shot clock at five. Sean Lewis pulls it in. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. McHale's checked in for Boston. Brooks comes in for Larry Burke. Then for the Heat, Measury comes in for Chris Bosch. That's Haslam in for LeBron. Here's Wade. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Kevin McHale. And not the same rhythm or, or approach that he had in the first quarter when he was taking it straight to the teeth of the D and, and really creating contact. I'd like to see him get back to that here in this quarter. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. There's a minute left to play here in the half. Here's Vincent. Pass to Brooks. Over Lewis. Brooks misses. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Basket counts. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Boston, no good that time either. The Heat leading by five. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Wade against Ainge. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. We've got 13 seconds left here in the second. Wade against Ainge. Wade kicks to Livingston. Jacks up a three. That one, no good. Wayne Wade, he's been the guy making things happen for the Miami Heat. He's at the quarter century mark. 25 points for him in this game as they have looked to him over and over to make things happen. We come back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. So one half completed in this round two conference semifinal game. Ernie Johnson with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. We'll be breaking down all the action. For the Heat, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs the way these two teams are battling. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? Well, they showed a lot of discipline on offense. Call some high percentage plays. Even when the defense devised different looks, they always seem to have the answer. That's good coaching. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards. And they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Dwayne Wade really has his fingerprints all over this one. And you know he's going to put up points every time out, but, boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. 
And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinal. On the floor for Miami, Livingston is out there with Dwayne Wade. Then there's Chris Bosch. Then it's Shane Battier. And it's James in at the small forward position. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Johnson's got the first points of the second half here for the Celtics. Oh, he leading by three. Now here's Livingston. Wade on the wing. Pass to LeBron. Five to shoot. Shot on the wing. And he knocks down the jumper. James has got eight. In the mid-range. Rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. Now here's Parrish. Over Bosch. And with that, the Heat lead has got down to three points on the bucket from Parrish. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. Well, truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. And being that Bosch is 6'11", dunking comes easy. And once he's this close to the basket, he's ready to attack. Johnson, the pass to Parrish. On the wing. Rebound by the Heat. James outside. He dishes it to Livingston. Bosch tried to free himself up. Livingston, that's good. Livingston's got the lead up to seven now for Miami. Wade against Ainge. Parrish kicks to Johnson. Passes it to McHale. Over Battier. A shot by McHale, no good. And it's Livingston with the ball for Miami. Back to James. No good on that one. Great tee that time from Johnson. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. The put back. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Wade passes to Batty. No one here, James, as he lets it go. Offline with his three. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. McHale. Offensive rebound. Tips it up. Great positioning on the putback. McHale's got 14 points for the game. Second chance points have really been an issue here defensively. And there's the pass to Wade. Over Johnson. And again, it's the Heat missing. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. Bird dishes to Ainge. Pass to Johnson. Celtics passing it around. Feeds the bird. Over LeBron. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. Ray Allen has checked in for Miami. The Heat leading by three. Livingston with it. Seven points in the game. Here's LeBron. Here's Bosch. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Bosch has got his third basket of the night. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Pass to McHale. Out to Bird. Over Battier. Bird misses. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. And that one's good by Bosch. 
Well, Sean Livingston, such an outstanding playmaker. He can do it with his back to the basket, on the drive, in the face-up, you name it. Now here's Johnson. He has six. Out to Bird. Back to Johnson. Pass to Ainge. There's the dish to Parrish. Looking to end his cold spell. And he lays it up and in. Parrish has got four points now in the quarter. The Heat leading by five. And here's Livingston. Kicks it out to Al. James against Bird. Here's Bosch. No good there. Excellent D there from Parrish. Here's Bird. A second chance effort. And McHale finishes inside. McHale is a deadly efficient shooter. His 55% career shooting percentage. One of the all-time best. Timeout called the Heat. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under. Austin making some changes. Walton's checked in for Parrish. Wedman comes in for Burr. And it's Marshawn Brooks in for Danny Ainge. And then for Miami, Measury, he's checked in for Botch. Haslam comes in for Shane Batty. And it's Lewis in for LeBron. And he gets it back. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. For Miami, they have knocked down five of their nine attempts at the strike tonight. He throw good, Livingston. He makes both free throws. Celtics trail by five. It's stolen by Livingston. And here comes Livingston. Leading the fast break. Here's Haslam. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got assist number seven for him tonight. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Boston Celtics. Over Livingston. And shot opportunity and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Celtics have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. And that one falls for McHale. And McHale drops them both. Now Livingston 
Nine points in the game so far. Down low, here's Haslam. Makes it off the glass. Haslam's got the lead up to seven now for Miami. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Johnson outside. Here's Wedman. He squares up and sinks it. Wedman's got eight points. A heat leading by five. Here's Livingston. The pass to Lewis. Measury inside. Walton's there. From 10 feet out. Rebounded by the Celtics. McHale's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. That one good for two. Eight points for Johnson. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. Allen kicks to Lewis. Pass to Livingston. To the middle. Here's Mesri. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now here's Johnson. He's got eight. Knocks it loose. Here's Walton. It's not going to go for him. And the Heat going the other way now. Now here's Livingston. He's guarded by Johnson. Allen outside. Pass to Haslam. At the top of the key, Livingston. And Walton sends it back. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Timeout called the Heat. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And Miami has possession. Three-point lead. Measury kicks to Hazel. Passes to Livingston. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. The Heat leading by five. Lewis, left side. And Lewis, one of those guys that can fit into a lot of different roles. But depending on what his team needs, he's got a diverse skill set. He's got size, and this guy loves shooting the three. This is his first free throw of the game. And he makes the first. And Miami making a change here. Wade's checked in. And both.
free throws good for Lewis. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Here's the pass to Wedman. Got a piece of it. Johnson down low. He's covered by Livingston. It's stolen by Livingston. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. That is textbook defense. Couldn't do it any better. Dwayne Wade's just that good, Kev. For Miami, they have gone 9 of 13 from the line. Danny Ainge has checked in for Wedman. Celtics trail by 10. Pass to Walton. Nice ball movement by Boston. Will it go? And McHale finishes inside. McHale's got 12 points in just the second half. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Walton with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. On the wing, Ainge. Wade is covering. Here's Walton, and it's denied. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Johnson inside. He's covered by Livingston. They get the rebound. Walt. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Wade against Ainge. Wade passes to Measuring. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Well, the basketball mind that Dwayne Wade possesses is so special. What understanding and feel for where his guys will be. Now here's Brooks. Johnson outside. Pass to McHale. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. And Miami making a change here. Battier's checked in. One fourteen left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Wade, and Wade slams it in. I tell you, you give him a head of steam, this guy can drop the hammer. Dwayne Wade doing work. Celtics trail by seven. Brooks outside. Shot from free throw range. It's hauled in by the Heat. They've led by as much as ten. Now, here's Livingston. Defense is right there. Wade passes to Batty. Out to Wade. Four on the clock. Eleven feet away. Rebounded by the Celtics. Walton's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Inside. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Johnson. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Wade against Ainge. Wade outside. Releases. Good as the jump shot falls. Wade's got 32 points. 
I tell you, it's very hard to stay with Dwayne Wade in the pick and roll. His court awareness and decision making allow him to manipulate the defense. And so it's the Miami Heat heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back right after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Welcome back, everyone. We hope everyone is enjoying their Cinco de Mayo as we get back into NBA basketball on 2K Sports. They've got Bird. Ainge is out there with Brooks. Then it's Parrish, and it's Walton in at the power four. That's the Boston Five. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Here's Ainge. Dishes at the parish. Shot clock at six. Brooks for three. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Bosch has got 11 rebounds in the game. And it's good for two. 34 points for Dwayne Wade. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Ainge kicks to Brooks. The three-pointer no good. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, this is perhaps the best weapon in Dwayne Wade's very varied arsenal. The feel and the paint, incredible. The Celtics making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Free throw, no good. Celtics trail by 11. Now, here is Ainge. Shoots over Livingston. And Walton throws it down. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Now, here's Wade. In the corner, Battier with it. A basket good off the assist from Wade. Wade's got three assists now in this one. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. And this is what the really good defensive players do. They anticipate and they're rarely fooled. The V just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And the first one drops. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And it's the Heat with the ball. 
Passes it to James. Patty in. The rebound by Walton. Unbelievable. They blew that look, guys. No clue what went wrong there. Here's Ainge. To the inside. It's stolen by Wade. And here comes Livingston. Leading the fast break. Here's LeBron. And it's good assisting on the play was Livingston. James has got the lead up to 13 now for the Heat. Remarkable catch and shoot sequence right there from LeBron. Just a killer instinct whenever he gets the ball. Now the pass to Bird. Kicks it out to Johnson. Five on the clock. Here's Ainge. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And George Livingston bringing it up now for the Heat. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Outside Bosch. Pass to James. Offensive rebound. Shots good by Bosch. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 13 rebounds. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach for the Celtics talked to his team during the break. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. You don't have to make up the deficit all at once. We'll see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Johnson outside. He feeds it to Bird. The nine-foot shot. And that one, good. You know, they work the ball into ideal position there to get the high-quality look. And here are the Heat now. They're on a 14-6 run. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Free throw good from Bosch. And so Bosch nails both of them. Celtics trail by 17. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. And there's Dwayne Wade on the assist by Livingston. Wade's got 40 points. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Johnson, the best to Parrish. Doubled by Bosch. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So it's Miami now. 
Tyler Heat leading by 19 points. Livingston with it. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Celtics with possession here. So it's the Celtics now. Pass to Walton. Fade away, and that one drops for him. Walton's got six in the quarter. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They're definitely not losing because of him. Here's Wade. He gets that one. And the Heat lead by 19. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Johnson. It's deflected. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him. There's no doubt. James sinks that one from the post. And what a half for this offense. If they can stay this high, a great chance to extend this lead. Here's Johnson. And it's LeBron James with the rebound. LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The shot by Wade wide open. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Bird outside. Back to Johnson. Passes to Walton. Over Battier and the basket by Walton. Walton's got 10 points here in the second half. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Wade passes to Battier. Two points. That one goes. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. McHale's checked in for Boston. And Miami also making a switch. Allen's checked in. Free throw drops for Battier. The Celtics on offense. Johnson outside. To the paint. Bird misses. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Here. Jones checked in for Walton. Smith comes in for Larry Bird. Vincent's checked in for Ainge. And it's Easting in for Dennis Johnson. And then for Miami, Udonis Haslam. He's checked in for Bosch. Smith comes in for James. And Smith subbed in for Allen. He throw good Livingston. Here's Vincent. The pass to Seasting. It's blocked. Here's Jones. And it's Miami with the rebound. Haslam's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Smith. The rebound by the Celtics. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Pass to Livingston. Good ball movement here by Miami. Smith against Smith. And it's sent back by McHale. Smith against Smith. Pass to Vincent. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Seasting. Off target from outside. With him scoreless in the latter part of this one, it's awfully hard to come back. It's stolen by McHale. 
Here is Seasting. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The first one falls. A different look for Miami. Measury, he's checked in for Battier. And it's Brown in for Sean Livingston. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here is Brown. Pass to Smith. Tipped away. The feed to Jones. McHale trying to free himself. On the basket by Jones. Jones has got his first points of the night. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Brown the pass to Measury. Brown outside. Smith on the wing. And the pass to Measury. Just five on the clock. Smith kicks to Hazel. And Jones pulls it down. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Rebound by the Heat. Now Haslam. To the middle. Smith inside. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Walton's checked in for Jones. Bird comes in for Smith. Ainge is checked in for Vincent. And Dennis Johnson's subbed in for C. Stink. Now here's Johnson. He's covered by Livingston. Bird dishes to Johnson. Pass to McHale. And the rejection by James. He was tracking that shot the whole way. No chance LeBron was letting that get to the rim. And LeBron throws it down. Amazing. Even a little bit off target. LeBron knows how to finish the alley-oop. 158 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Up top, Bird. Back to Johnson. McHale offside. Clock at six. Boston needs to get off a shot. Here's Ainge. The shot comes out. Excellent D from Wade. Watch out, LeBron against Bird. James in the post. The shot that time, not on target. And the Celtics going the other way now. Bird, the pass to McHale. And it's Kevin McHale with the finish. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand Woo, one of his favorite moves right there guys Livingston finds Wade 102 left in the fourth quarter outside Bosch Wade double team back to Bosch and it goes out of bounds uh, last touch by Wade listen turnovers happen you've got to move on to the next play and a new group in for the Celtics Jones checked in for McHale. Smith comes in for Bird. Williams, he's checked in for Danny Ainge. And it's Easting in for Dennis Johnson. There's 49 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Williams. 
High post, Walton. Floats it up for Williams. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Now, here is Haslam. Six to shoot. Pass to Smith. Johnson right side. Excellent D there from Williams. Smith against Brown. Colt and Walton throws it down. Oh boy, oh boy, to be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.